And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up the new text-to-speech functionality from OpenAI's API in Node.js. So the first thing that you're gonna do is just create a new project. So I use bun, so if you just go ahead and bun init, you can go through and select whether you wanna use a JavaScript file or TypeScript file. Um, run through those commands. Once that's all set up, you're gonna have the package.json set up, the index.js all set up. Now, the first thing that we're gonna install and only thing for that matter is we're gonna go ahead and then just bun install the OpenAI dependency. So once that is all set up, you can go ahead and create a .env. So if you just touch, touch .env, you'll have that .env file here. Now in your .env, you'll have to get a API key from platform.openai.com slash account slash API keys. Once you have that key, go ahead and put it in a variable just like this. So openai underscore API underscore key and paste it in there. So once you've done that, you can go ahead, uh, save out your .env and we'll just start running through the code here. So the first thing we're gonna import is the file system module as well as the path. So this is going to be so we can actually save out the file once the response has been returned. So next we're going to import the OpenAI SDK and then we're going to initialize the OpenAI client. So if you're using the most recent version and you will need it in this case, the V4 version of the Node SDK, you don't actually need to explicitly pass in the uh, process.env and all of that for the Open. Uh, AI API key. So that's sort of the nice combination with running bun or the most recent version of a I believe node also has that where you don't need to explicitly import something like .env to read your environment variables. So you can just initialize your uh, OpenAI client just like that. And then this is going to be where we save out our file here. So I'm just using the date in this example. Feel free to use whatever you'd like though. So first we're just gonna wrap our whole application in a synchronous function here. And then first what we're going to do is we're going to establish how we're going to interact with the OpenAI API. So within their SDK, the way that we do this is we're going to be awaiting the audio speech and we're gonna be passing in a couple different options here. So there's a couple model options that you have here. There's the TTS1 and then there's also the TTS1-HD. So HD, as you might imagine, that's a higher quality version. It's also twice as expensive as the TTS1 version. So in terms of the voices, I have them all in line here, the different uh, voices that you can choose from. There's not as many as something like 11 Labs has where there's just like hundreds or seemingly thousands of voices, uh, a lot anyway in comparison, but there is enough and these generally sound pretty good in my opinion. So next we're gonna put in our input. So I just put in a simple, this is an example of OpenAI's new text-to-speech API to demonstrate on Developer's Digest YouTube channel. I also ran this through um, a character counter just to show you how much this would cost. So this is going to be two tenths of a penny to run this uh, input here with their uh, TTS-1 model. So to, uh, if you wanted to use the uh, TTS-1-HT model, it would just be double the price. So next we're going to uh, log out and then we're going to be converting the response to a buffer that we're going to be writing to, which we'll save just to the root of our directory here. Then we're gonna write out our file and then simply run it. So a couple things uh, I just wanted to include in the file here. So like I mentioned, in terms of the cost of the API, so it is relatively cheap, like a line like this, you know, uh, two tenths of a penny for this. If you're gonna be doing a lot of text, obviously it costs a lot more, but pretty self-explanatory in that regards. Now, the one thing I did wanna point out is the usage notice. So within the API docs, it's very explicit that if you're using this, you have to disclose that this is an AI generated voice voice and not a human voice. So I'd like to think that most people would probably hear these models and even though they're pretty good, still be able to distinguish that it is AI generated, but you will have to include that within your application. So next I just wanted to include a handful of references here um, for the API keys, pricing and docs if you need them. So now if I just go ahead and save this out and run our application here, I'll just show you what it sounds like. 
So you see, it's very quick to get the response back. And if I just go ahead and run this, I'll also turn up my speakers here. This is an example of OpenAI's new text-to-speech API to demonstrate on Developers Digest's YouTube channel. So I'll also swap out a couple different options here. So I'll show you their HD version. So if I just run this again, we can compare that. This is an example of OpenAI's new text-to-speech API to demonstrate on Developers Digest's YouTube channel. So in my opinion, I don't think that that is worth uh, twice the cost for that difference. I don't notice that much of a difference for the HD model, to be honest, at least not yet. And then if I just swap out uh, some of uh, one of the voices here, let's just try a different one here. This is an example of OpenAI's new text-to-speech API to demonstrate on Developers Digest's YouTube channel. So that's it for this one. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Over the week uh, following this video, I'll be releasing a lot of content around OpenAI's recent announcements. So if you're looking for more content within Node, JavaScript, Next.js, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'll have lots coming over the coming days here.